Hey everybody, Wanna Weasem here. It is 2.30 in the morning, Tuesday, December 16th, 2014, and we are deep in the excitement that is the Cobble Quest. I uh, don't remember the exact name for the achievement, but when I was uh, going through some of the ones we'd earned the other night, I saw there was one for getting a chest full of cobblestone, and it's not that I really want that super bad. Uh, if we were going for that, we'd go for the cool achievements, but it's just I need the cobblestone to build our base. So, uh, and like I said in the previous episode, I don't want to be building the base and then we're doing some cool stuff and it's like, oh, we're out of cobble, we gotta go mining. So it has its perks, um, you know, um, the episodes will be titled accordingly, but uh, while that video processed, I went into Animal Crossing and uh, Pearl, one of my new residents, greeted me and she wanted a new way to say hello uh, and I suggested she say Perlo. So, uh, got that done too. But, uh, we're just killing it tonight. Um, anyway, um, I was gonna go up, I think, but I wanted to open this up a little bit. Um, let's see here, we got one, two, three, four, so we'll probably start there. Just kind of, you know, make this, uh, like a big grand welcome to bedrock, you know, type structure. Uh, there's some iron for us. And the main thing, I mean, I'm going to do some neat things down here, I hope, or plan to. But uh, the main thing I want to accomplish at this point in time is the cobble quest. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I wish I should have brought that map with me. Uh, that said, I guess I was going to make the compass first. Um, I didn't realize, you know, like I said, that they gave the coordinates on there, so that's nice. But I still prefer, you know... Uh, tapping a key on the computer and getting all the information I would ever want to know. But uh, we'll deal with that some other time. Uh, if you'd like to see Minecraft PC vids, let me know. Um, I feel like there's more people doing that than there is the console versions of the game, but uh, I could probably make some decent ones. Um, I'm probably going to do it anyway, regardless of what you think, because it's what my nephew's really wanting to do. Uh, so me and him have got some uh, pretty cool stuff planned on that front, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Uh, right now, again, we're cobble questing, so uh, I think I'm going five high, two, three, uh, well, four. So each time we make, oh, See, there you go. Uh, each time we do that, we'll have eight. Um, so two is sixteen. Uh, uh, this is actually great because each eight is another stack of cobble. Except when redstone gets in my way, and then it's not cobble. <laughs> so uh, that said, like I said, you can mine that with stone. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's use this as a learning experience. Grab this. Now the iron, let me show you. Again, you've seen me mine it already, but really quick, really efficient. And now the stone, a brand new pickaxe. Wait, does it not break at all? I thought it would break it eventually. Um, obviously, it's not efficient. That should be a telltale sign you don't want to do that. But see right there, it shattered, you broke it. You know, you could get it out of your way, but you collect no redstone. So. Uh, keep that in mind when you are mining. That's why you want iron, obviously, if you didn't know. We'll deal with these, we'll make the torches look pretty later. Uh, right now I'm just kind of getting my, what, 4x2 veins of cobble here <laughs> in the cobble quest quest. So, is that redundant? I don't think so, because it's cobble quest. So. Uh, horrible name for a Minecraft playthrough series, Cobble Quest, where your goal is to collect more cobble than the other players on the server. That would be interesting to see. I, actually, you know, if you got enough people, you know, maybe like 8 to 10, it might actually be interesting, you know. Uh, not super interesting, but, I mean, that would put some, you know, competition in it. So, uh, let's get some torches up. Gotta pick up this precious cobble. Um, again, I'm just kind of randomly placing them right now. We'll go ahead and uh, clear out some more redstone. Although that will change my ceiling dynamic, won't it? Can't quite. Yeah, oh, we got it, we got it. Okay. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get the iron too, I guess. 
Wasn't there another pocket of that somewhere in here? Oh yeah, right at the front, okay. Uh, we'll leave that for now. It's not a big deal. Um, we needed, what, I think 12 stacks? We've got one, two... Jeez! It, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> it's really gonna take a while. Part of the reason I went that other way is I didn't have, like, all the dirt to contend with, so... We're just gonna start clearing this out as best we can. Keep thinking I hear a skeleton. Not like in the, you know, 15 block radius or 12 or whatever it is. But I mean, I just like, I keep being paranoid that one's going to show up. Or is that a spider? Hmm. Now we've at least got our armor on us, so. Uh, that said, the time to dig is nigh. Stupid dirt. I don't want dirt quest, I want cobble quest. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're going back to this tunnel. Our good cobble tunnel. And we're going to mine it. Okay, so I like this one because there's no dirt, there's no gravel, it's just cobble. And that's what we want, <laughs> you know. I will eventually clean out the other side, it's just, you know, not, not right now. We gotta get this done. I should probably have made this three wide and then like my symmetrical uh, desire uh, could just be achieved by putting the torch down in the very middle path instead of both, you know? It would be slightly more efficient torch-wise, but... It's one of those things that bothers me, you know, if it's just on one side or one portion of the floor. We ought to be getting close to that cave, now that I think about it, that was this direction. But it was, it did seem to be flush there, so we could be, you know, kind of under it or below it or something. Alright, back to the grindstone. I hadn't researched how many like hits a uh, pickaxe will give you, uh, just going like stone through stone. But that would be interesting because then we could keep track of it. There's one, two, three, four, four. Wow, this this is gonna take a long time, isn't it? <laughs> um, we're probably gonna have to go up to the surface, which this is my last regular pick. I know I've got the iron guy, and I've got tons of iron. I should probably just be using that. But I kind of wanted to do things somewhat orderly, you know, like you wouldn't go in and make an anvil, you know, before you have your enchanting table and things of that nature, so. Oh, okay. So that's a new dynamic added into our universe, you <laughs> know. Maybe I was hearing a skeleton. I don't know. Oh, what was I thinking? My precious cobble. I still don't have that bucket of water. Um, that's very weird, though, to have that with the bedrock. I have never seen that in Pocket Edition. So, it's kind of... Like I said, interesting. Um... Well, the good news is lava is a great light source, <laughs> so uh, we'll run with that for now. I've actually done some uh, cool stuff in Pocket Edition where I've used, like, literally uh, have lava uh, through uh, glass, you know, kind of like in the ceiling is my light source. Uh, it, it looks really cool. At least I think it does. Uh, I don't want to get cocky and fall into the lava, so let's go ahead. Actually, I should stand here. <laughs> so we don't have anything bad happen. And hopefully we don't dig up into any. Usually, just like I showed you in the previous episode with the uh, water, you can kind of see like the percolation. Uh, that same thing applies to the lava, so... 
It'd be a great time to have a skeleton come up behind me. Okay, so that was our midway point there. Can't leave any cobble behind. Um, yeah. I'm kind of curious, uh, like, how expansive that lava is there, since it is with the bedrock. Oh, good lord. Good lord, good lord, good lord. But, and it took the cobble. Curse you, lava. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, that's interesting, interesting things that we've learned today in the Xbox One version of the game. Halfway through this episode, and we still need more cobble. There are those footsteps I keep thinking I hear. It's always right in this area. I don't know if up there it may be a cave or something. But, uh, I guess we'll start clearing some of this out. And, uh, if I can get down to cobble again, I'll be happy. Probably should have made an iron shovel uh, when we were up there, too. Again, I've got tons of iron. I mean, that's, that's a non-issue. This cursed dirt is going to take up inventory space. It could be holding cobble. But, uh... Okay, so... That was <clears throat> too wide, and this is now three wide, which is actually what I debated about doing, so we'll run with the design change, and then I can just put a torch down in the middle, and that will help my symmetrical preferences. So this will give us what? We got one, we're still doing four high, and then uh, three across, that's going to be twelve per row, so uh, five rows would be sixty. 6 rows, 72, which is a stack with 8 left over. And of course, uh, 56 more, and you've got another stack. And that's what we need. Stacks of cobble. The good news is I'll never have to, like, you know, be this elaborate with the cobble again. It is pretty boring at this point, I'll, I'll tell you, even on my end. But uh, look how beautiful that is, just with the one torch, with the symmetrical rows on either side. We do run the risk of me having to make a chest as well. Um, the reason for that, I might, like, you know, fill it up and we'll have to unload some stuff. Or you can just break pickaxes like that. So, we are out. Uh, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six stacks. So I guess we have six more to go. Time to bring in the big guns and pick up the pace. We got seven minutes in this episode, give or take a little. And we are going to get after it. That really is odd to me, though. Um, again, you know, and you have to realize most of my bedrock experiences uh, have either been in Pocket Edition or. PC creative mode. I like to build houses out of bedrock because it can't be blown up. And as you might have guessed, I have some issues with creepers. But um, that's just really weird to have that lava down there with it. Then again, I know Pocket Edition, you know, they don't exactly have it, you know, cutting edge, you know, up to date. So obviously, you know, when you're going with your tools, wood is going to get the stone cut initially, you know, like your day one survival basics, but stone will be faster. That's why I like to always come in, you know, and make the uh, stone pickaxe first, and then I just, you know, go straight into the stone sword, etc., stone axe. Iron, obviously, is better than stone. And then you think, oh, gold. No, gold is horrible. It, it's basically just not great for tools. It, it, you can do it, but, I mean, it just the durability is pretty much non-existent. Um, 
So ideally, you would come in and you would find diamonds, and you would make a diamond pick, and then you would enchant it, and you get you know like uh, efficiencies or something on it that's going to help you out. But uh, diamond, obviously, you would just go through this a little bit faster as well. So uh, this one is saving us a lot of time, you know, versus just the stone. So let's go ahead and throw that down. Check behind us just to be safe. We got some interesting structures going on here. So, back to the grind we go. And, like you saw me do earlier, if you ever do, you know, hit lava. Um, assuming there's none behind you, you know, you should be very alert at that point in time. But if you just, like, happen to, like, break this block and lava comes out, instead of, like, freaking out and just, like, running towards it or something, go ahead and uh, just back up. And you should always have blocks. Really, I still need to make that bucket of water. That's very important, actually. <laughs> but uh, you should always have, like, blocks on your hot bar, you know, just for that event. And then you can kind of come in and... You know, take care of business that way. Oh, we've reached that point where I've got to craft some junk, haven't we? So, oh wait, crafting. Let's see. Oh gosh! All right. Well, let's uh, check that bad boy. And please give me the... There we go. That's what I wanted to have happen. Um, Alright, so there's crafting table. We will move the dirt for now. And we're going to take our crafting table. We'll just put it right there. And i got to make more planks. Oh, got to get eight. So there's our chest. And this will just be a temporary chest. But it will serve a purpose. Uh, where did it go? Oh, it's on the... Okay, well, that was stupid on my part. Guess we were holding it. <laughs> okay. Um, now, we want to unload stuff we don't care about, like dirt. Uh, we'll keep the sand... I can't believe I didn't put the sandstone away already. Uh, that coal could stay here. Um, more dirt. We'll put that iron there. Let's actually try to structure this a little better. One, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're doing quite well there. And we'll continue mining. So actually, we'll pick all this stuff up. And then we'll continue mining because we're getting closer to completing this. And that's ultimately what I want to do with my life at this point in time. Three in the morning, what do I want to do? I want to get this quest taken care of. So we don't have to do it again, or mess with it or anything like that. Um, torches. Right there, that'll work for now. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I mean, just it's always smart... To have you know blocks on your hot bar, whether you know like a spider come or you know if we mine into a cave right here, we're not paying attention. I'm looking at something else, and there's a skeleton. I can just like kind of wall them off, uh, things of that nature. And then of course, like I said, I really need to craft that bucket and get us some water. I'd actually like to put a water source down here as well, because you never know when you're going to need it, and you don't want to have to run all the way back up to the surface. Oh, bye, Mr. Iron Pick. <laughs> you will be severely missed. So much so, in fact, we're going to make your brother. Iron Pick 2.0 is coming up. Alright, actually, um, we need a furnace. We're just setting up shop down here, you know? We'll put it on this side, and I guess I put all of our iron. Didn't we just mine some, though? Uh, I guess not. Maybe I left it. Uh, we'll grab this, just what we need, and I guess we'll get our coal back. Actually, let's uh, put that there. Alright, so, there's the iron, 
There's the coal. Shouldn't take two. Oh, we don't have anything to do in the meantime, do we? Well, that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> seven. Well, let's make some torches, actually, while we wait. Make a use of our time. We'll come back and get that, <laughs> you know. Uh, before I do that, let's go ahead and uh, make plenty of sticks. Because we all know we need more sticks. That's what I always seem to not have. Oh, uh, 27. That should get us through this quest, I think. So, 20 minute mark, though. Um, I hate doing it to you, but actually, let's uh, let's get this stuff in here. Raw pork chops. Pull that out, and before I let you go, we're gonna make Iron Pick 2.0. So we had just enough. It's a sign from the gods. The cobble quest must be completed. Uh, we'll pull out our pork chops here. We'll have a little bit more food at the bottom. And please cook. We got it. All right, that's a good stopping point. Make sure no mobs are going to come kill us at the start. Um, so, episode 12. Not the most eventful thing, but we are hot on the cobble quest. And I think we're very nearing completion, which is fan-freaking-tastic. So, um, if you've not subscribed here on YouTube, make sure you do. I won't have to mine cobble this extensively in the future. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Twitch as well, one of Weezem. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks for for watching and I will catch you back here for Xbox One Solo Survival Episode 13 which should be the thrilling conclusion of Cobble Quest. You definitely don't want to miss that. But uh, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you back here in just a few seconds.